Good morning. We're doing a pasture today, as you can see. Now, I did this many, many times with Gary. Gary the Garrett 250. But, you know what he was like, so I'm back. I'm going to do it again with uh, with Mary, the Mine Lab 705. And just see see what we pick up that we never, never found here. Because I did this, this is a small little field and I must have been here 20 or 30 times a few years ago. I absolutely exhausted it. So that's the plan guys, I'm just going to do this with a mine lab with Mary and see what comes up. There is an old track running right through this pasture and when I say old, I mean like I think late 1600s, early 1700s because by the time it gets to the 1800s it's vanished from all the maps. Uh, the only reason I found out about it is because somebody's typed up some archaeological notes on the internet and I found it purely by chance when I was looking at some of my old permissions. Uh, apparently when they sold the land at some point they did some sort of study and found in an archive notes about this old path. Anyway, if I find the path brilliant because you always get good stuff along these paths. Alright, that's the plan. I'll come back with signal one. Right, we're ready to go. We're on, what have we got? 28, my favourite sensitivity. We're going to do all metal. So all metal, quite high sensitivity. We've got till 3 o'clock. It's half nine now. 3 o'clock is when it's supposed to pour down the rain. And I aim to be in the pub by 3. So let's get going. Right, I'll come back soon. Right, these are the sort of things I dig up and never really know if I've got something, something nice or a piece of scrap. Cannot believe it, look what we've just found. Uh, yet another completely different field. It's a light bulb. There's something going on here. <laughs> there we go, that's quite nice. A little handle. Well, a huge handle, I think. Or maybe that's a bull ring. Either way, not bad. Light bulb number two. I won't film any more. There we go, the first nice thing of the day, and it's a buckle. A shoe buckle, I think. Yeah, that's a bit old, isn't it? That's what we're after. Yeah, I think that's a... Is that a shoe buckle? Double looped. Yep, that's great. Right, that's what we're after. No more bloody light bulbs. Right, I won't be taking this thing home with me. It's way too heavy. Uh, but if you know what it is, let me know. Absolute joy to dig that up. Deep, massive, massive iron is always good fun. Wonder if that's doesn't look the right shape for a plough part. I'm not sure. That's not a gate post hinge. Oh well. Yep, that, this is staying here. I'm afraid. Right, we've got something old looking just popped out there. Might, might be a saddler's badge. Hmm, interesting. It's got a circle on the inside there and what might be a hole. Aye, ah, maybe some sort of badge, I'm not sure on that. Hmm, interesting. We've got a coin. I was going to say first coin of the day, but we might not get another one. So there's the imprint there. Looks like a looks like a penny. Oh, it's ruined. Yeah, I'm. I think that's some sort of one penny. Victorian, maybe. Oh, what a shame. 
absolutely smashed. Oh well, we missed that all the other times, so I'll take it. Okay, the next signal's in here. Whoosh, pow, busted. Oh, 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 ah, it's a button, is it? Aye, looks like a button. Pretty much right next to where we just got that one penny. That's much older though. Hey, well, we missed that as well. We have got another coin. I'm sorry about the wind, by the way. <sighs> Ooh, it's another penny, it looks like. Is that Victoria? No. Do you know what it might be? I'm not sure. But in the same hole we got a nice little piece of glass with a leaf leaves on the bottom of it. It's not bad. Here we go, coin number two. We might have a little coin spill here. And the exact, that's the plug there, that's the hole. So there's something else in there. Right, I'll open it back up, give me a wee sec. Can't believe it, look at that. Same hole as a penny, and it's a bag seal. A really nice bag seal. So, bag seal, piece of glass and a penny in the same hole. Oh, we'll get something off of this one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that'll, that'll clean up, we'll get something off that. We'll research that when I get home. In fact, you know what, we'll research that when I'm in the pub. Hamburg, nice. You see that at the bottom there, Hamburg? Yeah, excellent. You never know, three weird things in the same hole. Right, we've got another coin somewhere because I can see the imprint there. I just can't see the coin at the moment. Aha, there we go. Tiny, what's that? Oh, oh, have we got silver? Oh, 19, 16, three pence, we do. Oh, <laughs> yes, we've got silver. Oh, Gary Garrett, 250. You missed a lot in this field, pal. 1916 3 pence silver brilliant looks a bit looks a little bit worse for wear I'll clean that we'll get that nice and shiny oh brilliant oops Guys, I think I've might, I might have just found another first for me. Can you see that? That might be a silver thimble. Never found one before. Oh man, is it? It is, it is. Oh, whoa. Check the size of that. I think that is silver, isn't it? Oh, whoa. Right, there's two things I need to date when I'm in the pub. Look at this! Oh my god. Like I say, oh, I can't, hold on, you know what I'm going to do? Give this a quick brush and go into the woods so you can actually hear what I'm trying to say to you. Look at this! 
Did you hear that? Right, two minutes, hold on. Definitely silver. It's got a hallmark at the bottom there. The size of that thing. Oh, yes! First ever silver. Silver thimble. I'll get a date on that later on. Brilliant. One of my nicer ever finds, I think. Right, we've got a button. That's a military button. Yeah, we've got some sort of service button here. Please, oh, good condition. I think that's a general service but, uh, badge. Oh, I struggling to tell just what that is. And I don't really know much about these. Alright, that'll, that'll, we'll deal with that in the roundup. But that's in good condition. Oh, do you know what? I think it's still got the shank intact. Ah, it does. Still got the butt on the back. Brilliant. Well, I'm just wondering what, what did I find when I did this field all those times? Because I've missed an awful lot of stuff. Alright, cheers. Look at this. Bag seal number two of the day. No, wait. Is that... Is that three? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, we'll get something off this one as well. Not at the moment. Zag, maybe Zagreb. Oh, brilliant. I'm very sorry about the wind. Big zero on the back. Oh, that'll clean up. Fantastic. Hey, more cutlery. At least it's not spoons this time. Right, this is going to be the last signal, whatever it is. A decorative something. It's half two now, I can see the rain coming, it's getting pitch black. So, I'm going to walk to the pub now and have a drink. And sit with all my silver and bag seals. Rub it in people's faces, start throwing them around the bar and stuff. Right, I'll see you when I get there. Uh, if it's busy, I'm not gonna speak. I'll just turn the camera on and just show you my silver thimble. And then we'll do a round up tonight once I've researched everything. Alright, I'll see you soon. Two more light bulbs and a fork. Stuff, bottle top, hot rock, bit of a a plate from a mach some sort of farm equipment, I think. Lead. This sort of stuff, I never know if it's something good or not. Bullet casing, more lead. This, either a handle or a bull ring. Uh, what else? 
Aye, this. I'm not really sure what this is. Got a hole at the top there and a bit of a pattern on it. Cans, bit of decorated glass, stuff, stuff. Maybe a bull ring. Anyway, right, junk. Silver thimble! Oh, right, the hallmark. JF. I bet you any money in the world this won't focus. Nope, sorry. J dot F. JF was James. Oh, who was it? James Fenton. Famous jeweler. Silversmith. I don't know what the term is. So it's JF. His initials are there. And then we've got the lion, a P, and an anchor. So it's. I believe that means Birmingham Silver. And I think the P means 1914. So it's 1914 Hallmark Silver made by James Fenton. Uh, mind blown. I've never found something apart for the. Looks like it's got a little pinprick at the top there actually. Just saw a bit of light coming through. See that? That might be pinpricks. Aye, apart from the hammered coins, I've, I don't think I've, I'm struggling to think of something as nice and interesting that I've ever found. See, there we go, JF, you see that? J dot F. Amazing. And then there was a silver three pence. 1916. Right, do you know what I might have to start doing? I might have to start... Filming on a different background for my roundups. There we go. 1916, which is the same day. I think this is a World War One general service button. It could be World War Two, but I think it's World War One. Uh, and unfortunately, when I was cleaning it, the shank, the little bit at the back, uh, broke. So that's a shame. But yeah, World War One general service button. Similar sort of date as the silver three pence there. And then we had another, we had a button here, much older, completely smelted. Although saying that, this one actually has the shank on the back, although it's squashed. Two coins, I, I think they're both pennies. They are. They're, they're both pennies, one pennies. And then this lead thing, um, it does have holes in it. It's got two squares, square holes in it. Maybe to connect it to something, hold it on to something, I'm not sure. But it has an inner circle there. Could be the biggest bag seal on the planet, but I think it's a Sadler's badge or some such thing. Uh, buckle, double looped, I think shoe buckle. Not a clue about these, so this is a guess. Mid to late 1800s, that's my guess, right? Could be completely off with that. But I love finding them, nonetheless. And then two bag seals, can't find anything on them. I never find any sort of decent in-depth websites about bag seals because I think they were just homemade like each, probably each distributor or whatever had his, made his own there, there must be millions of them out there, we've got Hamburg for sure one of them definitely says Hamburg and then on the other side, see that Hamburg it's got a W something on it and the one on the left there I think was Zagreb and it's got a zero on the back. Anyone uh, know a website to decode all these weird numbers on these seals? Let me know. And that was it, guys. That was uh, that's how we got on. I'm de I'm delighted. I, I, I just.
this is going to be another one of these things that I just hold for months. I've cleaned it out inside. Yeah. I'm amazed I walked past all this 20 times, 20, 30 times I did that field over the years. It really makes you think. So what I'll do, I'm not going to promise anything, but tomorrow... Yeah, I'm not going to promise, so it's either going to be back here again <laughs> to see what else I've missed, or it'll be the ploughed field, which might not be ploughed, it's cut. Might not be ploughed, but tomorrow's to rain all day, so... I need to go to a happy place and mentally prepare for that. In fact, you know what, I'll just take this, this'll, this'll take me to a happy place. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.